Today I'm going to talk about an empirical uh, case study of change management project integrated with risk uh, management principle. Uh, at MPC Healthcare, al Group, the company I'm currently working at, we have adopted a change management project called the Business Process Orientation. Uh, driven from our logistics transformation strategy uh, in our past was logistics innovational excellence. Uh, we have adopted the Business Process Orientation project uh, and shifted from the section-based or silo-based divisional structure into a process-based divisional structure. The initial uh, section-based divisional structure was based on product category, pharma section, medical section, and consumer section. Uh, we have shifted that into process uh, uh, focused divisional structure, an uh, inbound section, inventory section, and outbound section. The inbound section uh, owns the processes for goods receipt and uh, uh, customer returns. Uh, the inventory section owns the processes for replenishment, letdown, inventory control, and audit, uh, while the outbound section owns the processes for pick and pack and the distribution to our customers. Uh, we have built up teams who are uh, uh, more specialized and more focused on, on, on their tasks with uh, uh, less number of uh, perform process performance metrics or KPIs. Uh, due to the fact that uh, uh, the initial structure was there for decades, there was fear for operational drop, especially in the first early stages of the, uh, of the project. Therefore, we have decided to adopt a risk-based thinking uh, when we have utilized the uh, quality tool for risk management, FMEA, failure mode, and effect analysis. Uh, we uh, have identified uh, the uh, risks uh, if something went wrong, uh, and we have uh, assessed those risks based on the severity uh, of the impact of those failure modes, uh, the uh, occurrence, the frequency of occurrence of those uh, reasons, uh, for risks uh, and the detectability of the available control measures uh, to uh, detect those risks before happening. Uh, consequently, we have uh, calculated the risk priority numbers, uh, prioritized those risk factors, risk factors based on the risk priority numbers and uh, uh, action plan were, were set in place. Uh, FMA is such an incredible tool uh, that uh, enable us to to detect uh, some hidden risk factors without which uh, uh, we could have suffered from uh, operational trauma. Uh, the results were amazing. We got a uh, 24% improvement in uh, delivery time uh, as a, a strategic operational objective for speed. Uh, we got 11% uh, reduction in customer returns as a strategic uh, operational objective for cost optimization. Uh, uh, the, I would say that the marriage between uh, change management from the strategic perspective, uh, project management uh, from the operational perspective, as well as the risk management uh, would yield a more effective and efficient uh, uh, outcome uh, with less number of uh, uh, de uh, defects uh, because, uh, because of uh, uh, ensuring the quality as a source and getting things right at the first place and consequently this will yield a, a, a more enhanced customer experience and a more engaged customer.